boys and girls, here I am with you to introduce a star in the sky. Why I am calling somebody a star? Because he is none other than Dhruv Rebba, who has the Limca Book of Records and youngest ham radio license holder. Let us meet him and find out from him what made him to get the license, how he is going to use it. Hi, Dhruv. Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, can you tell me what is your day-to-day -day activity at your home? Um, uh, I sometimes watch TV, do homework, mm -hmm. and do homework. Uh, play outside if it's good outside. Uh, just tell me for the boys and uh, their information how your day starts. How you are going to end the day? I brush my teeth, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then do breakfast, mm -hmm. and then do homework. Okay. Then. And and then um, at the end of the day, uh -huh. um, I do di dinner, uh -huh. brush my teeth, uh -huh. and go to sleep. Uh, don't you miss anything out of it? You are missing your school and your school activity. All those you are not missing. Uh, in school, we um, we do we do um, math, uh -huh. and then go to uh -huh. a gym, uh -huh. and do science, and then do science and social studies, uh -huh. and then g and then do writing. Uh -huh. the, um, then we do lunch and recess. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, uh, let me know. Do you have any other extracurricular activities like cultural items or martial arts or shooting, riding, or anything like that? Um, I, um, I, I go to tuition mm -hmm. on Mondays, mm -hmm. and I go to math, and it's math and English. Okay, but what about and other uh, cultural activities like self defense or horse riding or swimming? Do you have um, anything? Um, I I I went to karate, but I'm taking a break for some while. Do you have any belt in the karate? I am a first degree black belt. Oh, good. You don't look like so. You look so sweet, and you say you have a first degree black belt. Acha, now let me get into the subject. What makes you to, and what attracted you towards the ham radio system? Um, I, um, I went with Ramon. Mm -hmm. Uncle and my dad to the Dayton Ham Convention 2013, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, I saw all the radios, radios, and I wanted to become a ham, mm -hmm. and and I wanted to help the world so there, uh, um, natural disasters, and to make sure there's communication. Which was attractive to you, or the way they are operating, or the way? the ham radio is put into you, which was attractive to you to uh, become a license holder? Both. Both. Uh, how many days you struggled for to get the exam clear? Um, for the exam? Three to four weeks. Three to four weeks. Yeah, Did you have to study a lot. A lot. In the three to four how weeks. How many books you have to complete? How much of the syllabus you have to complete? Um, yeah, it, um, yeah it, there's a lot of topics like radio propagation, mm -hmm. um, Commission FCC rules mm -hmm. a and antennas mm -hmm. and um, uh, physics mm -hmm. and the and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, what type of support you get from your parents regarding um, this? Uh, um, my my mom helped me mm -hmm. study and encouraged me, mm -hmm. and my dad um, a and my dad also encouraged me a lot. Uh, do you have any idea how much? It costs the equipment. How much? What you're using? How much it costs? Um, I in dollars, it um like uh, uh, a good ham radio in dollars would be one thousand okay. dollars. Okay. And 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 there are also handheld transceivers. Mm -hmm. They might be about around fifty to eighty dollars. Okay, let me have a clear answer from you. What way you are going to use this ham radio in case of some national disaster or some other disaster? Um, I want to um like help Red Cross find survi find survivors. Okay. Suppose if you got uh, some call on your radio, saying somebody is in some distress or somebody is in problem, how we are going to put this message and whom you are going to put this message? Um, I would t tell my uh, local radio club mem mm -hmm. people that there's a uh, natural that there's a disaster in this area. Mm -hmm. So, um, in case I I cannot go, mm -hmm. maybe they can go. Mm -hmm. 
And what do you want to become in ham radio chain? Uh, I want to become an astronomer or astronaut. M my dear, I'm not asking you what you want to become in your life. I'm asking oh. what you want to become in the chain of ham radio. Oh, um, I want to become, uh, um, like I want to help Red Cross Fund. Red Cross, service. right, right. Uh, Dhruv, uh, just tell me, how you are feeling that you are the one Indian origin and youngest ham radio license holder in the world as per the Limca Book of Records? How do you feel? I feel proud. You feel proud. Do you dedicate this record to any of your family members or your mentor? Um, I dedicate it. I dedicate it to my mom and dad, who helped me study and encouraged me a lot. Mm -hmm. Acha, just tell me, what is the difference between preparing for your school exams and what is the dif uh, and from this ham radio exam? Y you have to um, you have to study a, a lot, mm -hmm. and um, y you have to study at least one hour a day, mm -hmm. and uh, and and probably even more. How much time you spend? on the ham radio in a week? In a week? Mm. Um, maybe 14 hours in a Four, week 14 hours or yeah. more. 14 hours, approximately 14 yeah, hours. Approximately, yeah. yeah, now tell me, what is the message you would like to give to the boys and girls of your age? Um, uh, I'm particularly asking about the ham radio. To, um, to, to think about getting a ham radio license. What for? To help the world. Help the world. What way you're going to help the world? Uh, in natural disasters. Natural disasters. Yeah. Okay, right. Then what is your uh, m life target? Life aim? What you want to become? An astronomer or an or astronaut. Astronaut. Did you meet any of the astronauts anywhere? I met a uh, NASA astronaut, mm -hmm. Colonel Doug mm -hmm. Wheelock. Did you, uh, did you get any inspiration from him? Uh, yes. What? What um, is that? Can we share? To, like, um, t to become an as astronaut like he's also am, mm -hmm. and uh, so I can become an astronaut. How like frequently you're speaking to him on your ham? Um, I, I, um, I, I didn't, I can't um, get to him on my ham radio. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, uh, like I can't. Um, I didn't talk to him since I met him. Okay. Last time. Uh, Dhruv, I have seen your presentation. How much time you have taken to prepare your own presentation? Um, um, it it took it took about about um, uh, um two hours in um two and a half hours in five days. Day per day, two and a half hours and then five days, uh, right? Yeah. It well, um, four, four to five. Four days, four to five days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you notice any difference of in the education system of where you stay and where from your origin? That means in USA and in India. Did you notice anything? Because you will be talking when you come to India. You'll be talking to your own friends and your relatives. Did did uh, any one of they share anything with you? Like uh, that? Um. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um the math st standards might be more more uh, where? In, in india or in, uh, in india okay and um and uh, and like some sometimes um like mm -hmm. um like the st the standards might be less in india mm -hmm. S so it it differs it differs okay after uh, taking the medal certificate and um, um, record certificate today and you have been facilitated, you have given your presentation and what are you going to do in future in the ham radio? Um, I, w I, I want to um, meet new people in the de-expedition okay. and help in natural disaster. Natural disaster. Okay, all the best and thank you very much for giving the interview to Dhruv Darshan. You're welcome and thank you. That is the chart with Dhruv Rebba, who is a Limca Book of Record holder in amateur radio, which is called also ham radio. Boys and girls, I think the talk with the Rebba Dhruv might have been inspired you. Be a ham radio license holder and get into the world to serve. That's what his motto and you should have that. With that, we'll sign off.